Those umbrellas handy. Thank you, Ryan. Fort Hood, one of the country's largest military installations, is getting a new name. Ken's 5 anchor Audrey Castareno is in Killeen with more on this historic change. Good afternoon, Nicole. As you can see from the sign that welcomes you onto the Army base today, it was redesignated as Fort Cavazos after General Richard Edward Cavazos. In a ceremony this morning, the Central Texas Post was renamed in honor of the South Texas native. General Cavazos made military history in 1982 when he became the Army's first Hispanic four-star general. A veteran of the Korean and Vietnam Wars, Cavazos served in the Army for 33 years. He died in 2017 and is buried at Sam Houston Cemetery in San Antonio. Cavazos' family was in attendance at the ceremony, as well as many who knew him and described him as a humble leader. Bill Cavazos was described by many as a soldier soldier who earned admiration, loyalty, and respect through his warrior ethos, through his selflessness, through his genuine empathy, and through his unquestionable love for soldiers. For years, Fort Hood had been named after Lieutenant General John Bell Hood, who was a Confederate leader during the Civil War. Fort Hood, now designated Fort Cavazos, is one of several military bases undergoing a name change after a congressional committee recommended removing Confederate names from military bases as part of the 2021 National Defense Authorization Act. Many of the proposed names were either women, African American, Native American, or as we've seen here today, Latino service members. So a big change today here for this Army base, but many said this is a step in the right direction when it comes to honoring boots on the ground. Reporting from Fort Cavazos, Audrey Castoreno, Ken's 5.